If you go on Google and punch in the phrase, qualities of a great leader, chances are that you'll find a variety of attributes, such as vision, integrity, confidence, strategic planning, excellent communication, trustworthiness, and the like. However, there is one leadership attribute that very often never makes the list, vulnerability. When it comes to leadership, vulnerability is usually perceived as a liability for leaders, particularly in business. After all, it is leaders who are expected to have a vision, prefer solutions, and answer tough questions. Not so. But is that how it really plays out? Not quite. Contrary to popular opinion, vulnerability has proven to be a leadership strength, not a weakness. Now, don't get me wrong. Being vulnerable does not necessarily mean you have to share your deepest, most personal secrets and let it all hang out. Rather, it means letting your guard down, putting pretenses aside, and just being yourself. As leaders, it's become instinctive for us to sometimes keep a distance and project a certain image, exuding high levels of confidence, be seen like we have it all under control and have all the answers. Why, you may ask? We want to be respected and admired. However, in reality, we all have weaknesses. In fact, we've had moments when we let our guard down and open up about some of our insecurities. And that's perfectly okay. What we should understand is that displaying some level of vulnerability can potentially yield more positive behavior in our employees and greater feelings of hope, loyalty, and genuine trust in you and the organization. So get comfortable with not having all the answers. Be willing to ask for help from others. Yes, you're the leader, but you're also human.